Hey everyone, it's uh, Jesse back here with a, another Star Wars Destiny video, and in this video we are going to be uh, showing you a deck that a uh, user on TTS and Knights of Ren Discord called Unseen Depths showed me one night. Um, had a chance to play it, and um, I think it might have some merit. I think it's uh, super tanky, and in a world of fast aggro decks that might actually work out pretty good. Um, it is yellow hero, which means that we are lacking some good removal. Um, it does make it uh, have a few issues from time to time. Um, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> um, one sec. Hey, but I grabbed the wrong version of this. One sec. Uh, objects. All right. Helps if we grab the right version. Uh, in this version, I got rid of the vehicles, the uh, quad jumper and the falcon. As much as I like them, um, I think the deck was too slow with them. It's it's already not a super fast deck, but I wanted to speed it up with Infamous and uh, a few of the other things. Sorry about that. And um, okay. so we're gonna take a look here. All right, so in opening hand, we got Infamous. That's really solid for us. We got Loth Cat the Mouse. We got some removal. Friends in low places. He's playing a Dooku Krennic deck. Um, Definitely want Infamous. I'd like to keep the Holdout Blaster to set up Chewy, maybe, or Han. We'll see who he decides to go for. Uh, you know, Dooku's dice probably need to be controlled a little bit. Uh, you know, I think we're going to get rid of the Unpredictable and the Friends in Low Places for now. Uh, see if we can't get into a Maz's Goggles or something else we can play on turn one. Uh, didn't get it. We got a sabotage. This will be good if he ends up playing Dark Presence or Imperial Inspection, which I both think are things that could be in his deck. Um, so we'll see what happens here on the rollout, and then we'll go from there. He's just reading the characters, understand what they do. Uh, kind of go from there. The problem with Chewy's special in this particular matchup is that there's no modified sides on either one of the character dice. So, and because it requires you to turn, it means I can't really move it to a damage side. I could, I could potentially re reduce the damage on Dooku. So I roll three, four, five. He rolls five. So we're re-rolling again. Four to his three. All right, so he's got player support from your hand or discard pile is increasing his cost by one. Let's take my battlefield here. Um, give him the shields. That's okay. What we'll probably do in this circumstance is see if we roll a resource on Han through the ambush action. So um, he gets to put shields out. Good luck and have fun, man. Yup. Get ready for this jankiness. That's cool. I like Krennic, so I hope it's uh, something cool. Uh, don't forget your shields. I don't know where you want to put them, but... I definitely understand why he's choosing Krennic, and it makes Krennic a big target here. And and I, I want to target Krennic, but one of the things I like to do about when I'm... That's a good start. When I'm uh, chasing after uh, fighting Dooku, is the fact that not only am I doing damage to Dooku, I'm milling Dooku. I got the resource. Good start, not so great roll. Uh, I got the. Uh, well, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> um, I, I got the resource to play Infamous. Everything else in my hand besides Sabotage is free, so this makes for a really good Loth Cat and Mouse process. We'll see what he does. But again, I, the reason I like to damage Dooku. Uh, over everything else is simply because it's also milling cards out of the hand. So I get to deal some damage, I get to take cards out of the hand, which means it limits the rerolls. It also means that he's not getting to keep things and it could potentially mean some hard decisions. Uh, interrogation Droid is, is really good against this hand because he's going to get get the discard off the activation of the droid. Um, so we're going to take the resources here, we're going to get Infamous out. Because the droid can't hit, 
can't hit Infamous, so we're going to hope that if he uses the droid's ability, we'll find out here. Yep, he's going to use it. So we're going to shuffle our hand up and discard a random card, and he got our Sabotage. All right, you got the Sabotage. Dice goes back. Good job. All right, we're going to play Infamous here. That'll give us Ambush. That's going to speed up our game a little bit. So when he rolls Krennic or Dooku, we can choose a dice, get it away from him, and get a shield on Han, which seems pretty good. We're going to roll Chewie next. The question will be whether or not we want a Friends in Low Places or not, and I don't know yet. Uh, not with um, that kind of a roll. He must have inherited my dice. I know, right? That was a rough one. Get another resource. Not really what we want to get. This deck likes to roll resources, though, especially with Han having two resource sides. Chewie's got a resource side. Seems pretty much like it's a thing. Um, we'll see what he does here. So we're going to do this and play Loth, Cat, and Mouse. I'm going to choose that. Get a shield on Han. And he can choose one of my dice. Still got four cards for rerolls with Krennic. Don't know if he wants to reroll those, but we're going to look at the hand and see what he's got next with Friends in Low Places. We're not going to deal any damage this turn, which is unfortunate, but we do have a holdout blaster moving forward. Uh, that makes for great fodder for second chances, makes for great fodder for lone operative. You've got ambush. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, sorry. Um, no, it's all good. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, well, look at that. We got some choices here. So we've got pulling the strings. Uh, we can't Emperor's Favor, which we can't take, but we can definitely take an Isolation. It seems like a good play. Um, all right, and so it's back to him. Uh, I'm guessing he's probably going to discard um, a pulling the strings, but maybe not. Maybe he'll take the battlefield here. And if he does, he does. So he knows that I'm going to take it whether he rerolls or not. So, yep, that's fine. Okay, we'll stand back up. Get a couple resources and hope for a little better roll this time. All right. Lone Operative is really good here. Uh, DL44 is really good. Hold On is also good here because we can give Chewy shields if we wanted to. I uh, like a lot of things that are going on here. We're going to see if we can get a resource, but he wanted the Death Trooper die. That makes sense. Um, in a lot of ways, that makes sense. We can put two shields over on Chewie, though. Get one on Han. And then we could even play an operative over the Holdout Blaster to get uh, get that healing and the discard and, and some really fun stuff going on here. And all of that can happen without ever... Uh, activating so flank stays up in this case so we're gonna hope you activates a character here that's what we're gonna cross our fingers for um, I think that that's um, something that we want to see um, he didn't do any damage first turn either dark presence uh, is definitely a thing um, so we're gonna do that now we're gonna do two shields over to chewy get one from the ambush So with our ambush action, we will activate infamous, spend one, put out a lone operative on Han. That'll give us another shield. We'll roll Chewy, and then we'll see what happens. Chewy gets us another resource. Um, that 
Seems to be what Chewie wants to roll here is resources. Here, action, bud. So we're going to hope he crosses both. I mean, what he's hoping for is a uh, discard side from Dooku so he can get rid of my dice. We want to wait to play cards. Perfect. Ouch. Man, that roll was bull. Those dice didn't even spin. You can re-roll it. I'll let you. Uh, I guess he's going to pass on that. Was offering it. It did roll kind of funny, so I was going to let him have it back, but um, it's all good. Got the three side from Han to disrupt the special on loan operative to heal, which we don't need right now, and uh, resource on Chewy. So we'll see if, he le if I take his resources... Um, seems like that could be tough for him. Um, we'll see what he decides to do here. I don't really want to spend the resource on Han's die, but, you know, I mean, I guess that's what it's going to be. He's going to isolate probably, oh no, he's going to, he's going to do Emperor's Favor. Um, seems interesting. Um, I think this is where we want to pressure Dooku. Three to Dooku. So again, he either takes three damage or he loses a card. I know he doesn't want to lose a card, but that's why we do this. If we pressure Dooku down, we force the the constant disruption of the hand. And to me, that's um, that's a very positive thing to do here. Um, yep. So he didn't want to lose a card. Uh, I don't blame him for that. We're probably going to discard flank to re-roll Han's dice here. Uh, but we'll see what he rolls, what he decides to do here. He's going to re-roll. All right, he gets two disrupt, a one gun, and a resource. All right. Two disrupt doesn't scare me so much. I'm going to discard the flank because we can't use it this turn. Re-roll here. Two disrupt and two discard. So we can hit his hand and, and then he's got no rerolls left. So he better reroll now. That's kind of what we we're hoping for with the operatives. Like hand disruption, deal some damage. It's a really kind of aggro we control build. Um, yep, he's going to pull the strings. So he's going to look at the top three cards of his deck, I would assume. Yep. Place those cards at the top of the bottom of the deck in any order, okay? I like this card because it kind of it's kind of digging. It lets you find what you're looking for, maybe. Uh, I think there's some value to it overall. Uh, looks like he's gonna do. Okay. All right. We'll take the last card. Took the isolation. That gets rid of some removal. It's going to roll Dooku in. It's a single melee sight on Dooku. Like, he's going to do a couple points of damage here, but, like, not all that much. We'll take the resources away. He's got no rerolls left. If that hits on the discard, which it's likely to do, but it doesn't, so. Activating the droid? Yeah. We'll take the resource. Yeah, it's not a choice, you have to. Oh, I didn't, I guess I re didn't realize it was a requirement. That's cool. It was a loan operative, so didn't get it. So we'll see if he takes... Um, he'll probably resolve the disrupt. That's fine. Knew that was going to be a thing.
reason to run most isolated is because it's the least impact battlefield here. Uh, you could run, you know, a... Um, we'll see where he's going to start directing damage to. He lost lost the die because he doesn't control the battlefield, right? Okay, so going to Han. Going to Han, okay. Now, if I had a fast hands out, what I would do is I'd bounce it back and get a free resource, right? So I, I'm playing cards in my deck that uh, would would like that. I just didn't draw fast hands early, unfortunately. So this is really a fun thing to do here. Um, <laughs> so first, what we're going to do is we're going to do a holdout blaster on Han to get a shield. We get an ambush action. Now with that ambush action, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna do, I don't have to do that, sorry. I do a hold on, which gives me a shield, and it moves one shield off Chewie and back onto Han. I still have an ambush action, so now we're gonna roll Han out. So that was three actions. Han went full shields again. don't have our fast hands to resolve the disrupt that would be amazing here but um we got two disrupts of special on lone operative and then also the one range got a loath cat and mouse which is good here uh, my opponent's going to play something finally which is good i'm excited to see what that will be he's going to do a new orders okay he's going to flop the battlefield i get he doesn't get control of it. He just gets to use it. You don't get to claim it. You just get to use the claim ability. I still have control. Correct. Yeah, you still have control. I just get to use the claim ability. Right. Okay. Probably won't get the DL-44 out now because of the Imperial inspections. He's got Dark Presence. Um, I mean, we kind of knew these things were out there and could happen. Get the two side. We can pressure Deku with two, which seems good. We'll prob if he bounces the holdout blaster back, he does. That's it is what it is. I actually can use docking bay if we get another infamous just to play it for free. If I mean, if it comes up, uh, I don't see that happening. I mean, we're gonna put another two damage on Deku here. And uh, I really want to try to get a lone operative on Chewie. That would be kind of the best place for it. But double dark presence is going to hurt. Okay, so let's put a little pressure on the hand here and do two to Dooku. Okay, get rid of a force throw. All right. I don't think I need another lone operative here. I may regret that in the long run. I guess we'll find out. I mean, at the end of the game, we'll know whether that was a good call or not. Uh, I mean, if he rolls Disrupt on Krennic, he's going to bounce the Holdout Blaster back, which means I'm going to lose our damage. Uh, I can't really fight that. Okay. So he gets to keep it in play. He can activate both Dark President Presence. I can what was the card? Lone operative again. He can activate the dark presence if he wants and remove two die. So I think the dice I want to remove here are probably both of Han's dice, maybe. Um, let's do. That I, I would like to keep the discard, but things happen. Um, we're going to discard loan operative to reroll. Got a resource. That's really good. If you if I keep the holdout, the DL44, um, what can happen here is I can get the resource as long as Imperial Inspections doesn't fire then hold out blasters there. OK. 
Okay. Didn't roll anything I care about right now, so we're good there. He may, he may try to resolve the discard, but my guess is he's, that focus is too enticing. If he doesn't resolve the discard here, then the DL44 goes down. I get to remove a die. And yeah, this is perfect. This is what we wanted him to do. Um, okay, so we can do a couple of different things here. First, we are going to loath cat and mouse with ambush. So I'm going to loath cat with ambush. So he gets this die, and I'll take that die. And then spend with my ambush, replace the holdout blaster with a DL44, which will get that die. And then we'll claim the battlefield, because I can't do anything else. Last ambush was claim the battlefield. Yep. Okay. I mean, we're not rapid firing on Dooku here. Like, we've, we've lost a lot of uh, tempo this game, but we're getting a board state set up. That kind of how things work. I mean, I got a pretty solid board here. Um, you know, unfortunately now, because of uh, the the dark presences, I really need to find fast hands to resolve some damage fairly quickly here. Um, let's see. If we're going to force him to roll out, right, by doing this. If he rolls the droid, it bounces fast hands. We could put it back down, but he only gets one return. So um, I'm pretty happy with this. We can kind of hold on to the second chance just in case we need it. I don't think his deck's really aiming to do a ton of damage here. So I could have ambushed the fast hands, but I'm going to save the ambush for like the friends in low places or if I take some damage on Han because um, Han's shielded out right now. I'd like to get another hold on and move some shields over to Chewie and get him totally shielded up and we're pretty much now ready to start putting stuff on Chewbacca so um, you know inspections can't hit my DL44 or my lone operative which is good do we care about our resources this turn you lose all the resources just all our cards we'll, we'll lose our resources I don't think I care about our resources right now um, so I feel like it was a two for two trade that didn't really affect my tempo much. Part of the value of this deck is that everything's fairly inexpensive outside of the upgrades. Got a resource, six damage showing now. I mean, like, like Dooku is lethal without uh, discarding cards. That seems pretty good. Um, Resolving fast hands. Sorry, I was just thinking what I want to do. Uh, we'll do oh, you're all good. three to Dooku. That's the die. It's the DL44 die. Gonna discard uh, Emperor's favor. Seems good. He's got to be concerned that I could eat his resources here, so that's a thing. Probe. All right. One, no. Yes. Okay. Get a resource. He's got to remove Han's die here, so he needs to roll a discard, which his best shot of is, is is the interrogation droid. Um. 
but if but if he doesn't, then I just shoot Dooku for another three. So this is a pretty good shot, actually. The interrogation droid's got three sides that can do it. 50% doesn't get it. Uh, discard a random card. Doesn't get the removal. So we'll shoot Dooku for three. Three more to Dooku. Again, the whole idea here is, yep, see, we just keep chewing the hand up, right? So we're chewing his hand up better than he's chewing ours up. 12 cards to 13, but I got three cards in hand still. So we're pretty much even on that front, but he's almost got a character down now. Um, okay. We'll take the resource. I think he's got to realize, like, he doesn't have the burst potential to move Han down. Probably not going to keep Dodge. Maybe I will, just because he's playing a little bit of a mill. So, and he's claiming. Interesting. All right, so we'll roll Chewie in. We'll do two to Dooku. So either Dooku dies or he discards a card. Probably going to... It's a tough choice. Feel your anger seems like a um, smart play. Okay. Uh, we'll stand back up. I'm discard the dodge. Thought about keeping the dodge, and only because we're playing against a mill, right? And so. Alright, Maz's goggles is, um, is a challenge for us here. He does get his Death Trooper die. He's got eight cards left to my nine, but he's drawing six a turn. Let's see what he does. Um, you know, goggles is really good. I mean, if he rolls Krennic, which can roll the disc disrupt side, he's got a disrupt side on the interrogation droid and a disrupt side on Krennic, but I don't think that's enough to warrant the inspection. That's just my opinion. Uh, could be wrong. Of course, the Death Trooper comes in with one as well. Um, so we'll see. Um, he's got to be pretty concerned that I could pop down, um, pop down Dooku here and kill him. And I mean, that's, that's a thing for sure. Like I just have to roll out and roll a single damage side and that'll be it for the count, the good count. Uh, he'll be down for the count, but um, boom. Shh. All right. Another interrogation droid. All right. All right. All right. I mean, he's definitely trying to get the hand down. That's, that's a thing. Um, see what the deck is trying to do. Okay. So we'll shoot. Dooku for three. Yep. Okay, so Dooku goes down. Now we can start focusing our energy and attention on uh, the count, or on uh, Krennic. I got some reroll father with Maz's goggles if I want him. Um, and then we'll see what Krennic rolls and then decide if he's going to pop the fast hands back, which if he does makes for good play for Maz for a turn. Like it's, it's, um, we already got our fast hands activation off. We'll see if he uses that, uh, Imperial inspection here. Um, okay. Forgot the trooper die. Okay, so he's got one range, focus, and two disrupt. I've got a three range showing at two blanks. Um, you know, my money says let's just deal a three damage. Three to Krennic.
Like he doesn't want to use the inspections, clearly. Focus Krennic to the two side, two discard side. Okay. Well, we don't really want that to happen, so let's uh, unpredictable that die. <laughs> nice. He's forgetting to activate his supports. That's interesting. Okay, so I got to pop two dice off. Um, what two do I care about? I think we'll take Chewies and the DL44. Okay. I don't think he's going to do any damage, so let's see if we can get a better sight on the lone operative here. Special sight is not going to help us because he didn't do any damage, so. Probably done re rolling here. I'll probably just claim the battlefield. Because he's going to take th all three cards. We got to do 11 damage still. Not sure what he's trying for, but okay. I mean, suppose there's the chance for a resource side. Yeah. We just really have to burst down here. Um, you know, we didn't play the Maz's goggles. He's going to lose the die. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's trying for. Sorry, it's kind of late here. I apologize for yawning. Can't resolve the high ground, I think, because you have to spot a blue, right? Nope. Okay. Could get rid of the fast hands if he can roll a discard. She's got a pretty good shot at it, but he was looking for a resource. I'm not sure what he was looking for exactly there, but okay. Okay, we'll stand back up, draw four cards. See, my problem with, with that choice isn't so much that it's a bad choice, it's ambush, rolling Han. It's that. Like, it didn't really change the game state any. Um, so we'll do two. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if he rolls in a discard on one of the interrogation drawers, I'm going to lose two dice. What I don't want to lose, it, it's basically the same. I'm resolving the same amount of damage, but if he doesn't roll the discard, then I can resolve both of these dice, get him out of the pool, and I did take two actions to do it, giving him another opportunity with a droid to hit it. So 
that's kind of the plan anyways. We don't intend to play any more cards this game until um, we absolutely have to. And the reason being is uh, he's going to try to get rid of our hand every turn. And he's got interrogation droids to do that. And um, he's got a 1 in 4 chance of hitting an event here, which would remove the die. All right. Didn't get an event. He got infamous. Okay. So, and this is why I did this, because now I get, um, yep, I don't get a resolve the other two range. What was the card again you pulled out? It was infamous. Support card. Cool. So we'll resolve three. Really want to keep the resource for Chewy to give Chewy cunning. Because <laughs> I don't think he wants to deal damage. And so the fact that I could get a cunning, which would allow me to flip Krennic's die possibly to a two damage side, which would force him to do rerolls. Um, perfect. Okay. Let's roll out Chewbacca. Got a resource. Definitely, I'm going to take the resource, get cunning set up for a next turn, and you know, at this point, I think the most he can hit my hand for. I guess Krennic's got a two side. That's a thing. So that die goes away. Okay. Get a resource. Can't electroshock Krennic now, which stinks. But there's some value in getting cunning the where it's at because uh, I can do a couple of different things with the cunning. Playing three to put ah, Imperial and local garrison out. Okay. The thing is, I don't really need to play with many resources going forward, so that's fine. We're going to put a Cunning on Chewy. I think he wanted Local Garrison much earlier, obviously. At this point, it's much too late to save the resources. Plus, this deck makes a lot of resources. Uh, he wants a resource, huh? I mean, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven supports out. That's kind of crazy. Um, Acclaim, put the infamous out for free. It's my other fast hands. Got six damage out, but I mean, Chewy special alone has got pure value. So not sure what he's going to be aiming for. I just don't need to play any cards anymore. Like I probably didn't even need to play the infamous, but you know, uh, I haven't played this matchup enough, I guess, to know all the right moves. Five to my five, so we're pretty even. He feels like he's winning this match, but I I don't don't feel like that's the case because I'm going to force him just to do everything he can. Um, so we'll roll Han. All right, we'll wait for him to finish up here. Okay, now we'll roll Han. And we should be able to fast hands two to three damage, which we will here. Do three. If he doesn't remove that die, that's just GG because uh, Dark Presence can't remove it. 
He's got to have a removal tool here. Deflect. Uh, but have to spot a blue character, bud. Can't play it. Yeah, can't. You're right, shit. Can't deflect once uh, blue character's down. I feel like that deck wants Force Illusion. Like, I mean, not that it would matter a ton, but, I mean, it could. I don't know. It needs to be a little faster at discarding, so I'd be looking for upgrades that could get more discard out. I'm not sure what those would be. I'd have to really think about it. I like the Krennic Dooku combination, and I like Dooku and Mill decks a lot, but I. Sorry, you cut out there. Yeah, I think that's game. Okay. Good game, man. I appreciate it. That was uh, really close. I, I wasn't sure I was going to get it done. Um, you were milling cards really fast. All right, so um, that's the Chewy We're Home deck. Um, you basically saw the whole deck in that game, playing a mill, and... Um, you know, I think this deck probably falters a little bit on the really fast decks. I don't think the Poem Maz deck scares me as much with this because of the repopulation of shields. Uh, Palpatine, though, I think is a tough matchup just because of all of his healing. You know, if Han rolls the disrupts, you might be able to keep him out of his healing. Um, and I think that's maybe a strategy for Palp where you you do sacrifice some of your burst. And, and it's not even that this burst that much. But you sacrifice some of your range damage to keep his resources off. I got to play a lot more against Palp to decide that. Loath Cat and Mouse is really good in this matchup. Uh, Flank is obviously very good against Palpatine, so I think there's enough removal with Flank in the deck. I think there's an I, I play Flank specifically because of like decks like Pomaz and Palpatine where, you know, they're rolling fast. And so because they're rolling fast, we can kind of slow play them a little bit and use flank as a removal tool and it gives yellow another removal tool so we'll do a few more gameplay videos i'm not going to get those recorded here this evening uh, but we will definitely get them recorded this week and i will get them uploaded to youtube if you like the video please subscribe to my channel i always love it when you subscribe uh, hit the notification button to get notified when i upload new content uh, if you have any questions about the deck or you want to discuss the deck i love hearing from everybody so feel free to comment below you can also comment on my facebook or shoot at me on Twitter, uh, whatever you want to do. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.